Hi everyone, I hope you're doing good, doing well. So today um, I saw a comment, um, a little bit late, but I saw it today, uh, that said, can I give an ID in window that open in uh, the search bar? And uh, from that came the idea to do a video about um, how to search elements on the, on the same website, web page with the search bar. So uh, search an ID. So for that, I took um, uh, the codes that I wrote for the functional functional search bar that I explained really well in the video. I think what everything meant. Um, I now I will just copy this, go and paste here. So now um, I will show you how it's looking like. So it's looking something like this. If I write, for example, um, cat, it will bring me this page. If I write something else, it will bring me another place. Uh, and now I want that um, this is opening other pages. So me, I from the moment, I want to search on the same page. So what I'm going to do is to create divs uh, to stimulate like your content that you will have, have in the pay page. For example, the, I'll create a div and give the ID of A1. Uh, just like this, and I will write something. Then I'm going to do space. There's an easier way to do it, but that's OK. So yeah, a lot of space. And I will create a second div with the idea of, let's say, A2. And here I will write, I want to see this, for example. Um, for example, this div could be your title. You can give the ID A2 or another ID to your title. And then I will show you how to search it on the page. So now we will see something like this. So if you're up here, we can't see what's down. And we want to, for example, search A1, and it will bring this. Uh, so for that, what, you, what we're going to do, oh, we'll copy all this, give more space, because I don't think there's enough space. OK, now it will be correct, I think. So we have something like this, and we want to uh, take a look on this to search a word and it brings this. So as we know, the ID of the, uh, that thing, that text is A2. And it could also be a, a paragraph or, the, or other stuff. So now I put A2. Um, <clears throat> what, so now what I'm gonna do is to go here and erase all those, no, not erase. Just erase window that open because this is opening on the other page and we don't want it. Uh, so now we need to write this window that locate uh, that this and your ID. So I already did this in other page, and that's why I copy paste it. So ID will be, for example, A2. So now if we search cat, the window. I'm gonna go to locate the ID cat and will show us. Actually, it will bring. So let's test it. I'm gonna write cat, click enter, and boom, it brings me here. Uh, and as you can see here, it worked because it's showing that the, um, it searched the ID. Um, okay, I can also show you another example. So if I copy this and put down here and give, for example, ID four, no, ID three, ID four. This is gonna be, for example, let's say A three and A four. And I go and copy the, uh, this thing. And if the X is equal to, for example, A four, it will bring us the ID, the text with the ID A4. Now, if I go and do the test, I write A2, click enter, 
Oh, I can because I'm already in this page. Before click enter, it will bring me the A4, which is here, the button. Now I can go up and then click A2. It will, it normally should bring me A2. Um, yeah. But what we can also do, because as you can see, oops, I opened this script accidentally. Um, oh, thank you. So as you can see, when I write A2 is not working the second time, even if I erase everything, I write A2, click enter, is not working. A4 is working. Okay, I understand the problem, I think. Okay, because it's not A2 that I need to write, it's cat. Because, yeah, I put the name cat. So if I write cat, it will bring me cat. I want to see this, yes. So everything is working. So today I show you how to um, how to easily search text or elements in a web in a website. I hope it it helps you. And if it's the case, please subscribe and click on the like button. And that's it for for today. And bye.